What makes our video podcast different from others? We ask each guest what they're doing to give back to the world and their local community. Now that they've amassed their wealth, how are they giving back to help others? Additionally, we ask each guest to give our listeners a special gift to help them grow as a person and to influence their business. Welcome to The Roy Snar Show, entrepreneurship and giving back. Now, here's your host, Roy Snar. Welcome back to The Roy Snar Show. Today, I'm very excited. I have not only a good friend, a mentor, and a business partner. He's going to be coming on the show today to share his story, his successes, his challenges, and what he's doing to give back. In fact, this is the same gentleman that helped take both of my books number one on Amazon. He's a global publisher, global speaker. He's got his own show. I want to welcome Michael D. Butler from Beyond Publishing. Michael, great. thank you so much for coming out. Great to be here. Congratulations on the show. I'm very excited to be with you. Awesome. And, thank and what you a so view. Much. What a studio you've got here. <laughs> yeah, isn't it awesome? That, that is the capital of Texas. I mean, how much more American and Texas pride can you get? Well, in the new the new Silicon Valley right here in Austin. Right? Oh, yeah. This so place is booming. You're in the hub of where everybody wants to be and everything's going on. This is where the money is because yeah. Roy is here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hey, I'm just trying to be in between that money transfer. That's, That's all. good. That's good. <laughs> Good. That's, good. That's awesome. Well, you know, we're very excited to have you on today. And I, I want the listeners to know about your story, because when mm -hmm. we talk about entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and giving back, sometimes people think, oh, entrepreneurship is easy. I'm going to hop into it. I'll make yeah. a million dollars right away. Yeah. But then they really learn about the struggles. And more importantly, they learn about themselves. So yeah. perhaps you could share your story because people may see you now like, hey, look, this seven figure man who's built these amazing businesses. Yep. But how did you actually start? What was your inspiration? Yeah, you're talking about the entrepreneur that wants to quit their nine to five, 40 hour a week yeah. job so they can work for themselves and they realize they're working 90, 100 hours a week for themselves exactly. and not getting any vacation, right? So I started my first business at age 14, growing up on the farm in Oklahoma. And I ran an ad in the newspaper and I got 15 lawn mowing jobs. Wow. Uh, I had saved money for a lawnmower and a weed eater. The only thing was I wasn't old enough to drive, so I had to hire a driver to take me to mow those lawns. So um, entrepreneurship has just been something that's been in my blood my entire life. Yeah. And I think it came from my grandfather. Oh, okay. He's the youngest of nine children. And he, both of his parents died when he was very young. He only got a second grade education. Wow. But I can remember before he passed away in Oklahoma, we're driving in the car in a small town of Wagner, Oklahoma. And he said, Michael, that duplex over there, your grandmother and I own that. And then he turns the corner, this next street, he says, we own that house on the corner and the house across the street from that one. And as we're driving, around, I knew he bought the dairy farm and saved his money to buy a dairy farm. But I didn't know he was a real estate mogul. And before he passed away, he's showing me all the houses, all the real estate they invested wow. in. And so I think entrepreneurship was just kind of in my blood, even though both of my parents uh, went the corporate route and hmm, okay. you know, retired after 40 years, got sure. the gold watch and all that stuff. I yeah. was never wired that way. I could never sit still in school. I always had ideas for businesses right. and it just kind of followed me throughout my life. But as a kid, when I stuttered from ages five to 11. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's yeah. a challenge. Yeah, it is a challenge yeah. because I'm naturally outgoing, but kids sure. are laughing and making fun of me. So growing up on the farm in Oklahoma, I became an introvert even though I was naturally outgoing. So I had my dog, I had my brother, and then I had my TV show on the farm where I was producing movies on the farm. We would cut to commercials, I would do the commercials, and between wow. my cows and my brother, <laughs> I overcame the stuttering. But yeah. one life-changing thing that happened at age 11, the librarian gave me a book that was written by an 11-year-old kid. Wow. I don't remember the name of the book, I just remember on the front of that book is a sailboat. Okay. And that book taught me how to dream. And I would lay in my pasture with the cows and look up into the sky and I would see a plane flying over. And I said to myself and I said to my family, one day I'm going to be flying on these planes all <laughs> over the world, speaking to entrepreneurs everywhere about starting companies. And that's kind of how it happened. Wow, that's amazing. So you didn't, your parents didn't hand you like a golden spoon, like here's a business that we built and here you go, son. And here's all yeah. this money. You started yeah. from nothing all the way up to where you're at now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, my parents bought a farm and, and my dad grew up on a dairy farm. He was getting back to his roots, but mm -hmm. didn't have any entrepreneurial thing going on in the family, so to speak, other than my grandfather. Yeah. And the book that I read by Michael Gerber called The E-Myth. Um, oh, yeah, okay. I was a pastor at the time and I always had this marketing mind because when you're a pastor, you want to grow your church and you realize yeah. it's all about marketing. So you've got right. to do your outreach, knocking on doors, calling people and those kinds of things. Business principles 
will work, work in any business. If it's a product driven right. or a service driven business, if you've got a good product and you're taking care of your people and you're over delivering yeah. and it's a good price, particularly if you're doing a consumable product like you're doing with insurance, yeah. it just makes sense. Yeah, no, that's great. So you were, you were a pastor mm -hmm. and then how'd you transition from being a pastor to beyond publishing? That was your first venture, yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was my third venture actually. Oh. When my kids were young, they were 10, eight, six and four and I found myself a single father. And I said, you know, I really need to make more income. There wasn't a lot of money at the okay. time yeah. in Oklahoma where I was <laughs> yeah. in the ministry. And I was young and I said, you know what? I really want to focus on my sons and be there for them. They're now mm -hmm. 33, 29, uh, 33, 31, 29, 27. Wow. And I got into network marketing because I love the people development aspect of oh, network yeah. marketing yeah. where you could teach people, help people get on stages. And, and my big pitch back then, and we did really good in wellness, we did really good in technology, sure. is I said, adopt a nonprofit, write a book, yeah. and get on stage. And you know what? We did really well with that. And so that kind of evolved into publishing books because okay. what I realized, a lot of people thought the internet killed publishing, but the yeah. fact is readership is up globally, and there's no better way to become a credible expert than to write a book like you've done. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, just to pivot on that a little bit, the two books that we have, the Social Security Long-Term Care Book, they mm -hmm. have helped us dramatically in our mm -hmm. client base. And now we offer white labeling program for agents and advisors. And then anybody else who wants to have become their own author, we have a program for that working mm -hmm. with you. And to your point, you adopt a nonprofit, yep. write a book, get on stage. Get on because stage. The nonprofit is yeah. doing something larger than yourself, right. giving back. Right. And then the book makes you an expert. And who's going to listen to you unless you're an expert? You have mm -hmm. to build credibility. Mm -hmm. What better way to, to do it than a book? Yeah, you decide which lane you want to be the expert in. And you want to pick a niche. And niches are always changing. There's a book a few years ago that changed my life called Blue Ocean Strategy. And it's Love about that book. how to be a category creator. Being first to market with an idea. You know, think about pizza delivery. That idea of yeah. people were buying Italian food, and a lot of people thought pizza <laughs> delivery right. would kill Italian food. <laughs> it added several zeros. It grew exponentially. So it's all about creating valuable content for your customers, delivering that content. And you think about this. When somebody wants yeah. something, where do they go? They go to Google. Right. So when they Google, you know, uh, real estate agent, Austin, Texas, what do they find? When they Google insurance, you know, Georgetown or Austin, right. what, what do they find? Yeah. Do they find you? Do they find your business? So creating a book doesn't make you rich, right. but most of my authors that have gotten very rich and on stages have leveraged the book, get, get more media, get more podcasts, get more speaking events, and it's helped them feel their masterminds. We're going to a book signing this afternoon. We are. And the gentleman has just launched his 23rd book and that's a ambitious. Top global speaker. So yeah. he, he's a great testament to somebody in the city that's leveraged a book and a speaking career for credibility to gain clients and make yeah. millions of dollars. I think you bring up a good point, too, because a lot of people, uh, at least some of the agency owners that we speak with, they say, hey, I'm going to write a book and this mm -hmm. is going to be my retirement income. Mm -hmm. I go, well, that's ambitious, but the book <laughs> yep. is more likely to give you yep. the access and the ability to make money rather than a direct revenue stream yeah. from, like, say, Amazon sales. Right. But the fact that you're on Amazon, if they Google Michael D. Butler or Roy Starr, these other hundreds of people that you've helped, mm -hmm. oh, you have a book, you have yeah. this, you have that. And then are they going to take you on a podcast or are they going to take somebody else that has a couple books? Yeah, They're going to take the person it, with the books. It, it, exactly. So Seth Green is one of our clients and he talks about the $20 book that made him $200 million. Wow. He's in financial services. He's done his eighth. He's working on his ninth book right now. But giving away a $20 book landed him a $200 million client. So Whoa. would you give away a $20 book to get a $200 million client? It just is a no-brainer. Right? I'm going to be ordering a lot more <laughs> copies yeah, and giving yeah, them yeah, more away. Yeah, I yeah. want that same thing to happen. I'm putting a lot of books in the back of that pickup truck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just start throwing them out everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Do the helicopter drops. I, I guess it's South by Southwest. You just do an airdrop. Yeah, that'd be easy. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Somebody will buy. <laughs> So how many books do you have now, personally? Uh, well, you know, we've published 759 books. I've wow. personally written seven books. I've got two new books coming out this oh, year. Oh, awesome. I've got Billionaire Influence. It's my book uh, where I've studied and mentored billionaires, for, uh, studied them for 35 years. Wow. And so not everybody wants to be a billionaire, but this book actually talks about how to think like and impact like a billionaire. So it'll help wow. you change your thinking and change your life and your production. You know, that, that's amazing, too, because... If you want to learn from the best, you have to get access to the best. And one of the things that makes Michael so special is that he has access. He's been mentored. He's been mentoring people that have made billions of dollars. I mean, 
I, I can't even say that at the moment. We're starting to work together more often. And you know, the fact that you have access to these people and you're going to translate that knowledge back yeah, to the awesome. consumer. He, he's taking the action. That's the big difference that we always talk mm -hmm. about. There's a lot of entrepreneurs out there. Mm -hmm. They have to, like, what's that say? The best ideas are in the graveyard, yeah. right? You actually just have to take action. He's taking action. He's producing this content and he's making it accessible for people like you and I to actually take advantage of it. And yep. if you take that action, what is that launching? 52 secrets. Um, it's a secret. Uh, oh, it, yeah, it, there it, we go. It, it, it's coming this fall. So the reason I gave you the website is you can go, I think we've got 39 or 40 videos up right now. So it's getting pretty okay. close to getting done. And uh, the last 10 are kind of a surprise, but uh, go check it out. In fact, we're shooting one in Austin today, right after this interview, right out here at the state capitol. So, All right, that's amazing. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is amazing. So it's really about breadcrumbs, no matter what business you're in. Let's say you're yeah. in network marketing and you've got a wellness company. Let's say you're a coach or consultant. Let's say you're a financial advisor, or um, let's say you help people repair their credit. No matter what your business is, you want to think about what are the frequently asked questions that my target market is, is asking. Hmm. Go out and create a series of videos on that topic. Go live and record the video. Once you're done with your live, so you got those prospects that were commenting on your live, then you repackage that content, put it out on all the social media channels, and you do a new video every week, or better yet, do yeah. a new video every day. If you really want to own the keywords in your area code, in your zip code, you go live every day and you can really create a movement wow. and you can really touch lives. And the best way to get ranked in search engine is through targeted video. Okay. Uh, just like from this one interview, I'll yeah. create about 50 pieces of content. We were talking about shorts yeah. in the green room, right? Yeah, exactly. When you create a short, it's one little piece of content that you're tweaking out about your business and it's a frequently asked question by a customer, but guess what? Boom, 10 new people just got on your calendar because you addressed the topic they were asking Google. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow, that's amazing. And that, that's the other thing that was reluctant for me in the beginning mm -hmm. is doing video, posting yeah. online, social media. Yeah. I'm just more of an- It's the know. hair and makeup, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I had to get my hair right all the time. But that's something I, I am personally working on because yeah. we help coach other agents about yeah. that. Like you said, pick your topic, yeah. just drill down on that topic and yeah. just constantly be consistent with the posting. Consistent with content. And then yeah. Google will naturally pick that up. And oh, that's yeah. a lot more powerful than doing like a, an image meme or something yeah. where Google can't pick it up. I mean, think of all the money you'll save because you won't have to do ads. You won't have to do pay-per-click. You're just providing valuable content. Google's pushing you out. Don't worry. You don't, you don't want to be in a studio like this to do that kind of content. <laughs> I mean, do it from your office, do it from your home, do it from your backyard, do it from the ball field, do it from the grocery store, because the more organic it looks, the better it performs. If it's glossy and produced, it's not gonna perform as well. Yeah, you know, that's funny too, because there's really no excuses today. Exactly. I mean, with our iPhones now, they're oh, yeah. amazing. I mean, oh, yeah. my, my five-year-old daughter can take some <laughs> really cool videos yeah. and pictures, and I still can't figure out the filters and all that. But ever since the yeah. iPhone 6, I mean, Hollywood <laughs> has been using iPhone 6 and above to shoot major feature movies that you would wow. know the names of that have won um, incredible awards and they're all being shot on iPhones. Wow, so I mean, mm -hmm. I think that that's a lot what's mm -hmm. contributed to your success mm -hmm. and your branding and your yep. overall presence online. Mm -hmm. what, what is your goal with Beyond Publishing? Where, where, where's the next phase for you? Where are you taking this next? Sure, we have authors in 59 nations and uh, publishing is, is a $400 billion market cap globally. And so Americans don't read. 76% of books are bought and read outside the US. So Spend a lot of my time traveling, as you know. I've been to 30 countries to support our authors. We go to all the major wow. book shows. So if you got a book idea, jump on my calendar at getpublish.beyondpublishing.net. Yep. We've given Roy's listeners a very special uh, thing, $500 value. You'll get a free book consult. Check us out at getpublish.beyondpublishing.net. And we'll put all these links in the description for you. Yeah, and the other thing is if you've been struggling to write your book for a long time, I created a course you're asking about giving back. Yep. And uh, we used to sell this course for $1,200. Uh, called credibilitybook.live where you can actually write your book in eight hours where i show you in video modules and format how to pick a title and subtitle that people will buy and read what do you put on the back cover of the book how do you lay out your table of contents and how do you write a chapter in 20 minutes that course um, wow. sells for 1200 dollars. i'm giving it to you and i'm gonna give you the promo code for roy's listeners on the show absolutely free use the code beyond and get that eight module video course there's some bonuses as well in there on how to get wow. celebrity endorsements, how to get more Amazon reviews, and how to go number one on Amazon. So check out credibilitybook.live. And you know, that's, that's great. You took the words right out of my mouth. So a lot of people we have on, we have to say, okay, so what do you do for giving back? And he read the title and he, yes. he, he understands it. And I want you to understand too that that $1,200 value, that's amazing. It's very generous of him to do that. 
But think of it, it's actually a multi-million dollar value mm -hmm. because you're going to take that information, you'll be able to implement it, and you have a lifetime value and return for that. So take advantage of it. Just check it out. Go on the line. It's a free look at it. You don't have to even spend 1200 bucks. Yeah. And it's hard for people sometimes because you pay to pay attention. But this is an opportunity. Pretend that you had to spend the $1,200. Take a look at it. We'll put everything in the links in the descriptions below. And that's going to help propel you. Well, really proud of you on your books and your speaking everywhere. I just saw you get off a major stay in Las Vegas. Yeah, that was a thousand fun. people. And um, you're really tearing it up with long-term care, not only in Texas, but all, all over the country. And um, congratulations on the show. I've been hearing a lot of wonderful things about it. And we appreciate you. your sponsorship on 1040 Impact. That's, you're making a big difference with the kids in Asia and our four safe houses. So, Roy, we appreciate you very much. On behalf of the yes. board and all the, all the children and the team, the staff over there, we say thank you. Hey, thank you. It's an amazing opportunity. And this is what we talked about a little bit on the prior show. But we're going to get more into detail on it because I want Michael to really share what 1040impact.org is because it's a charity that we're a corporate sponsor on. We try to get, encourage other people to become a part of it. It's amazing what they do. And the big difference is, is that every dollar that goes to the program actually goes to help these kids out. It's awesome. So maybe you could share some more about 1040 Impact. And I just warn you, it might tug on your heartstrings a little bit, because if you have children especially, this is really going to strike and hit home. So go for it. Yeah, human trafficking is a huge global pandemic. There's 23 million children that have been trafficked globally for sex. And it's the number one financial money maker in Middle Eastern and Asian countries. And so we just really felt it on our heart to partner with an organization that already had a team on the ground that already was doing great things. When we partnered with them, they only had 50 children. They were all orphans. Their parents had died and uh, they were feeding them on a daily basis and educating them. So made a trip over there, I formed a nonprofit and took all my board members back. So I've made three trips over there and brought my board members each time to really see what's going on, really uh, uh, looking uh, and, and testing that everything, that the funds that are being sent are actually being used for what they're, they're being um, uh, appropriated for. So we have four safe houses in Pakistan right now where we're feeding, clothing, educating 328 wow. kids, primarily girls, on a daily basis and a full-time staff of 20 that's uh, caring for their education. And then when the girls age out, we send them to cosmetology school and get them right. scholarship in the cosmetology school so they don't have to go back in traffic. Wow, that's, that's mm -hmm. amazing. How did you get involved in that? Like, what was the beginning of it? Well, it, it all started with the fire. You know, uh, Pakistan is 99% uh, Muslim and 1% Christian. And the, the Christians there are highly persecuted. They have many martyrs for their faith, wow. uh, Christians that are being killed to this day. Mm. Um, and it's just a terrible and sad situation that if you're a Christian, you don't get to go to college. You don't get a public school education. You cannot work in the government. And there's so many jobs you can't get that you can basically be a street sweeper or work in sewage or, or be a prostitute, uh, be, wow. traffic, be trafficked. And so, so many families get trapped in this uh, brick making bondage where they're, it's, it's like a payday loan on steroids where they just need $40 to feed their family for the next month. And wow. they go in and take out one of these payday loans and they can never, because the interest is so high, they become ser servants for life, three generations. So when you go visit the brick kiln factories, like I've done many times, there's grandparents in their 80s and there's children all the way down to three that are working in the hot sun, making bricks all day, every day. And wow. it's just trapped in a cycle of poverty. What we're doing to make a difference is we've rescued 75 of these kids. We've rescued and paid their bell to get them out. Okay. And we're educating them now in our school. So we have a total of 328 kids some who've been liberated from the brick kiln factory and some who've Man. been liberated from human trafficking. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you've actually been over there to see Yeah, this. we've been there multiple times, three times, taking the board members. Um, our team on the ground has started 212 churches because if you're truly going to change a nation and a family, you've got to bring the gospel. Otherwise, the human trafficking is going to be self-perpetuated for generations. So we are making a difference, uh, but the struggle is real over there. Yeah, that is you know, that's why I talked about too. I mean, we, whether or not what you agree upon in the country, I mean, we have it really, really good here. And if, if a lot of people who uh, disagree with that, they haven't traveled abroad. Mm -hmm. And if you just hear stories about this, like you said, how far would a hundred dollars go? I think I asked you that one time, like to help these kids out. How far would just a hundred bucks go? Yeah, really. Um, that, that would feed, clothe, and educate three kids per month. Three kids per month. So yeah. think about it. You go out to lunch, you go out to dinner, I mean, depending on the lunch, but mm -hmm. I mean, a dinner with a family, you are spending a hundred dollars unless yeah. you're going to McDonald's or something, yeah. but you're going to be spending that money. And it, if, just to think about that, that could feed three kids mm -hmm. for an entire month 
and you just spend it at a restaurant. So it, you start thinking differently. I know I do, and I've spoken about this as well, where you know, I, when I go out to make a purchase of something, mm -hmm. do I really need that? And to think like, oh, this is a cool item, mm -hmm. but that could feed you know, 12 kids for three months. It makes do difference. I really need it? You yeah. know, then you start really questioning everything yeah. you start to buy. <laughs> when the US pulled out of Afghanistan two years ago, uh, the parents were so desperate because they didn't want their girls to uh, be there with the Taliban because they had already seen what happened. <sighs> So they were so desperate, they sold their daughters to sex traffickers, knowing they were sex traffickers. My team reached out to us and said, can you help us? We want to purchase these girls so we can take care of them. Wow. So we immediately purchased uh, for $200 each, 27 girls. We got them the medical attention they need and we got them the help they needed. They're in our safe house and it's a family environment where they're growing, educating and being prepared for life. The wow. very next month, we rescued 27 more girls, same situation for $100 each. The value of human life had gone down to half, only $100 one month later. And so it really makes a difference. It was only $100 to redeem these girls, but to feed, Amazing. clothe, and educate them for life until they're 18, $33 a month. Wow. Yeah. So do you have like a, with part of 1040 Impact, it, you know, we're on the corporate sponsorship level, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit different mm -hmm. for a lot of folks, but can you explain to everybody the options that they have? Is there like a monthly thing they can sign yeah. up for and sponsor a child? Because we also sponsor a child in Africa as yep. well. Mm -hmm. And then it's part of a different program where they give us letters sure. and stuff. How sure. does that work? How, how that works, thanks for asking. So your, your gift is tax deductible. We're a recognized 501c3 organization. So whatever you donate is tax deductible mm -hmm. for your business or you and your family personally. And uh, people can make out checks. People can text to give. The text number will be in the description there at 1040impact. Org. You can give with credit card. You can give with ACH check. Uh, there's other ways that you can give through PayPal and push pay and other ways like that. So if you just go to 1040impact.org, you'll see all the ways to give. And thanks so much for, for asking. We have corporate sponsors like yourself, but yeah. then we also have grassroots uh, people from churches and Sunday school groups and women's groups and teenage groups and Girl Scouts and different groups like that that are giving $10, $40, or $104 a month to make a difference. Think about it. What, what is 100 bucks today? It, mm. it's, it's not that much here with the, the inflationary pressures and the cost of living. But just think, if you just allocate it, even $50, that could feed, you know, $100 feeds three girls for a month. Yep. 50 bucks is like one and a half, however that ratio would yeah. work out. But something's better than nothing. Even, even if you just did 20 bucks a month, I mean, this is all going directly towards the charity. Okay, see, that's the challenge too that I had prior. A lot of these big charitable organizations, you see these big fancy jets, you see all these big buildings, and there's a whole massive staff. Uh, that's not free. But here, every dollar is going to support the staff in Pakistan to help these girls directly. And just knowing that you can make a difference in somebody's life without asking for something in return. That's the real gift there. Yeah, thank, thanks so much, Roy. We really appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate the partnership. And, it's great uh, to be here. It, it's awesome. I, you know, thank you so much. I mean, Michael is a very busy gentleman. He travels all over the world, as he mentioned. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't live too far from here, but he took time out of his day to share his message with all of us. So take it to heart. Download the free $1,200 value course. That's one of the ways he's giving back. The other big way that he gives back is at 1040impact.org. Be sure to check that out. You got to type it in specifically 1040impact.org, O-R-G. Mm -hmm, yeah. And just take a look at it. Read some stories. If it's for you, great. If not, at least you got to learn something. But maybe share it with somebody else to yeah. help give back. Because it's all about making a difference in other people's lives and not necessarily getting a thank you card back. Just knowing that you did that is very self-fulfilling. And the universe always pays it all back. So thank you so much for tuning in today. We appreciate it. We look forward to the next time. Yeah, great show.